All right, guys, I just want to review this assignment that was comparing fractions greatest to least. So we're going from the biggest to the smallest this time. I did A with you already, so let's start with B. So when we have five, six, three, or sorry, one, six, five, six, three, six, really, since our denominator is all the same, we can just look at the numerator and say, well, if I had five, six, that would be more than having three, six, which would be more than having one, six. You can think about, like as I said in uh, the review for the least to greatest video, you could even think of it like a, like a pizza. If a pizza was cut into six pieces, would you eat more if you had five, six, or if you ate three, six of that pizza, right? Five, six would be more. Um, C is similar to A in that since the numerators are all the same, we can just look at the denominators. So three thirds would be our largest and then three quarters would be next. Uh, three fifths would be smaller than three quarters, but bigger than three sixths, which would be the smallest. D is one of those ones where you can kind of look at uh, what, you're, what you don't have uh, in order to figure out what you have. So each of these, the numerator is two smaller than the denominator. So two quarters, three-fifths, four-sixths, six-eighths. So if you think which one is missing the least, then you'd be able to figure out which one has the most. So if I look at eighths, eighths are a lot smaller than, say, fourths are. So if I was only missing two eighths, then I must have more than if I was missing two fourths. So in this case, six-eighths would be the greatest. And then four-sixths, would be next because sixths are smaller than fifths. So if I'm only missing two sixths, I would be missing less than if I was missing three fifths, which would be the next in the line. And the last one, two quarters, that's missing the most of uh, any of them. So we have the least. Um, e, F, and G, I want you to guys to, uh, if you're not using your fraction strips, then you should be thinking about them in terms of let's find the equivalent fraction that will help us uh, make all the denominators the same. Then they're a lot easier to compare. So I have one eighth, so and fourths, uh, three fourths, one half, five eighths. Let's make the denom denominator all eight. So in order to make the denominator eight in three quarters, I'd have to multiply four times two which means I'd also have to multiply three times two, so that would be six eighths. One half, I'd have to multiply two times four to get eight as the denominator, so it means I have to do the same thing to the top. One times four is four, and two times four is eight. Now that I have the denominator as eight, they're a lot easier to compare. The biggest would be six eighths, and then we would have five eighths, Oops, sorry, six eighths though is actually three quarters. So that's what I should be writing here. Uh, and then I have four eighths, which is one half. And then I have one eighth. Let's look at uh, th uh, thirds, sixes, and halves. I think I did one like this uh, earlier on here. Oh, look at that, right in B. If I get them all to be sixes, or six in the denominator, can make it a lot easier. So to get two thirds to be the denominator, multiply the top and the bottom by two, you get four sixths. And we have six here, five six and one sixth. One half, to get a six as the denominator, I'd have to multiply by three. So one times three is three, and two times three is six. And then one third, to get that to be a sixth in the denominator, I'd have to multiply the top and the bottom both by two. So three times two is six, and one times two is two. Now, it's just a matter of looking at which one has the most in the, in the numerator. So that's five sixths. Next would be four sixths, which is two thirds as the equivalent. Uh, next would be three sixths, which is the equivalent of one half. The next would be one third here, or the equivalent of two sixths, which is one third. And lastly, I would have one sixth as my smallest. Last question is tenths, halves, and fifths. So let's make it tenths in the uh, denominator. So we have three tenths, 
For one half to be tenths, we would have to multiply the top and the bottom both by five. That would give us five tenths. For four fifths, we'd have to multiply the top and bottom both by two. So that would be eight tenths. Same with one fifth, I'd have to multiply the top and the bottom by two. That would be two tenths. And seven tenths is already with, uh, already has tenths in the denominator. So my largest would be eight tenths, which is four fifths. Then my next would be uh, seven tenths right here. Uh, next would be five tenths, which is equivalent to one half. Then I would have three tenths. And then my last one would be two tenths, which is equivalent to one fifth. So if you're not using fraction strips, finding equivalent fractions is a great way to uh, compare the fractions as well as uh, uh, find equivalents. So hopefully that helps you guys. Thanks a lot.